Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to Mithun Technologies. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install that uh, Jenkins uh, <clears throat> latest version. See, many people are uh, pinging me. So and they are saying that, uh, sir, nowadays Jenkins is not installing. We are facing that issue. Yes, I know the problem is uh, with the Java version. So when I'm going through that uh, issue, I have identified that Java is the problem. And also, when I'm explaining about this uh, Jenkins in the last batch, if you see here, I have one warning was displaying. So you were running Jenkins on Java 1.8. Means in the previous batch, when I was uh, using this Java Jenkins, I was using that Java 1.8. And they are saying that support for which will end on after September 1st, 2022. Please refer to the documentation details on upgrading it to that Java 11. So now whatever the Jenkins which we are going to install, that Jenkins, it is no longer going to support that Java 1.8. So we should install that Java 11. Right. So in this video, what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how we can install Java 11 in the Linux server. Then how we can install that uh, Jenkins uh, latest version. So for this one, you should have a server, whether that server may be a Windows server or Linux server, MacBook. So many guys are installing Jenkins or using Jenkins in the Linux server. So I'm going to show you how we can install Jenkins in the Linux server. So for this one, first uh, let me create a one EC2 instance in the AWS account. So already I have logged in into this uh, AWS admin console. So let me launch one instance. Click on launch instance. Uh, here I'm going to select that uh, Red Hat is a AMI, and uh, you can select that. Uh, so T2 micro is enough for just for installation. Suppose you want to integrate it, Nexus, SonarKeep, Tomcat, better to go with that uh, T2 medium. Okay. So that you are not going to see any memory issues. Okay. Select that uh, T2 medium instance set so that you will get that uh, 4G RAM. And uh, select that uh, key pay. So you can select that uh, if you have already created uh, the key pay if you have in your laptop select that existing one so if it's not if you don't have create a new key pay then click on launch instance right so server has created see successfully in, initiated that uh, launch of instance okay and uh, just scroll down see click on view all instances okay so it is going to display just uh, refresh it. So here guys, I have created many servers. Don't worry about all these servers. So if you don't want to display all these servers, just you can enable the filter. Right. So here we have one filter. Na? See here, find instances by attribute or tag. Click on this one. So. I'm going to enable the filter as instance state equals running. So see one server, whatever server which we created just now, it is just playing. So click on this edit icon, give the name. I'm going to give as a Jenkins server because this server which I'm going to for installing the Jenkins server. Right. Then let's connect to this server. Mm -hmm. Click on connect. So click on SSH client, copy this command, open the terminal, mm. right? Just open the terminal, go to the folder where your temp files are there, then you can execute this command. Type yes, hit the enter button. So we have successfully connected. Right, switch to the root user because we need to install some packages. And also, guys, I have created one very good blog 
one post in Mithun Technologies blog. If you see here, Mithun Technologies iPhone devops.blogspot.com. So once if you open this one, if you see here, many labels are there. Click on this uh, Jenkins label. See here, I have created one blog yesterday. I have created one post. Okay, here I have explained that how we can install Jenkins server in Red Hat Linux server. So first, uh, switch to the root user. We switch to the root user. See, just you can execute who am I. Right, it is showing that root user. Then you can install this uh, duplicate package. See here, we are installing duplicate package. Why? Because we need to download that. Uh, Jenkins software. We are getting some error. So what it is saying? No such command. Install. Right. YVM. So wrong. It is spelling is wrong. Okay. YVM. Install. Duplicate. iPhone Y. So we need to change that uh, post. Some spelling mistake is there. See here. Okay. It is showing clearly. No such command. This one. Right, so it is installing. Once we install this uh, duplicate package, then you can download the Jenkins package and you can install it. Before that, we have to install the Java. Java is the prerequisite software. Right, see now, duplicate uh, package has installed. So just follow this blog step by step. And see here, we are downloading this uh, package. Okay. This package. Mm -hmm. It has downloaded. See what we are doing here. We are downloading this package. Okay. Jenkins package. Then we are storing into that uh, this particular directory. Right, slash etc m dot report dot d with this name. Right, Jenkins dot report with name. Then you need to download one key, copy, execute this command. We have imported. Then install the open JDK runtime environment. Runtime environment is enough because Java. <clears throat> Jenkins is going to run with a JRE only Maven for Maven only we need to install the JDK. So now anyway, we are installing that uh, Jenkins, right? Open JDK runtime environment is more enough. Right. Let's see till it is running. So it has successfully installed. You can verify it by using Java iPhone version command. So you see, Runtime, open JDK runtime. So if you install open JDK runtime environment, this Java C command is it going to work. No, Java C means Java compiler. Java compiler it will come along with only the JDK development kit. But we didn't install that JDK. We have installed only JRE. So that's why this command is not working. No problem. Anyway, JDK is not required. Then you can install that uh, Jenkins. Before installing Jenkins, just verify it whether Jenkins is installed already or not. How we can? So once if you install Jenkins, it is going to create a one service called as um, Jenkins. By using systemctl command, we can check it. Systemctl status. Service name Jenkins. What it's saying Jenkins that service could not be found means Jenkins is not installed. You can execute this command. Hit the enter button. So it is going to install the Jenkins server. See, this is the latest version 2.361.1-1. So this is the version which we are installing. So once it is installed successfully, it is going to create a one service called as Jenkins 
and also it is going to create a one user called as jenkins that user we are going to call as system user why because when we are installing a software if that user is created by the software installation that user we are going to call as system user let's see it will take some time for installation yeah we can wait so meanwhile we'll go back to that um, okay let me wait here only you can see that the progress hmm? how much time it is taking <clears throat> see here 26 percentage hmm? 28 so okay <clears throat> Thirty one percent. It's taking time. Hmm. Just I have entered one time, so that's why it's coming to the next line. <clears throat> yeah. Seems it will take some time. Okay, let's go back to our uh, blog. Okay, see after installing Jenkins, uh, I mean. Enabling this uh, Jenkins service. Why? Because as soon as your uh, Linux server is restarted, automatically this Jenkins server also has to be up and running. So that's why we are enabling the service. After that, we are starting. Then we are checking the status. Okay. So once Jenkins is installed, just execute these three commands one by one. And you can enable it. Start. Check the status. Okay. Let's go back. Only forty percent. Okay. Let's wait. It's taking some time. Okay. So let's reach the ninety-seven percent is. Okay, it's about to complete. Okay, let's wait ninety eight percent. Okay, ninety nine. Then it's taking more time. I seems some network issue. But usually, it is not going to take this much time, right? Okay, maybe for you, it may not take this much time. Okay, so it has successfully installed. Now, you can go ahead and enable the service. So, if you want, you can execute all these commands at a time. So, but uh, I am going to execute one by one. It has enabled. Then, start this uh, service. It is starting. So after starting, just check the status whether it is started or not. Okay. Okay. So it has started. Now just check the status. See. The server is Jenkins server is up and running. See, this is a service name. This is this is a description. Jenkins continuous integration server, right? So press the Q, it will quit. So now I need to access this uh, Jenkins server from my browser. So for that one, what we are going to do? So we'll take that uh, the server IP address, okay, public IP address, then will use that uh, 8080 port number this is the default port number but we are not able to access it why because by default that port number is not enabled so you have to enable click on this uh, security tab then click on secret groups click on edit inbound rules add rule so specify the 
port number which port you want enable so select it guys in the real time we are not going to select this one we are going to give that uh, cidr range click on rules save rules now you can go here just refresh it see jenkins is installed so now what you will do so if you want to start <coughs> unlock the jenkins first you have to take the one token right that is called as initial admin password which is available in this particular file and this file is available in where lib jenkins so take this path secrets directory you can use the cat command and specify the absolute path of that particular file see take this uh, token you can go here paste it click on continue okay so right now we are not sure right so if you are new to this jenkins you don't know which plugins you have to install see here two options are there select plugins to install install suggested plugins so we'll go with this one installable uh, it is going to install that uh, some suggested plugins which are mandatory required so so these are the plugins if you see here folder is one plugin name but uh, right side if you see related to that uh, folders some dependency plugins automatically it is going to install right so based on your uh, internet bandwidth it may take some time so usually it may take like 5 minutes also so i will wait some time let's see see it's installing one by one build type out credentials mining mm -hmm. time stamp so all these plugins are installing one by one okay so see <clears throat> some more packages uh, plugins has installed so like this one by one plugins are going to be installed so once all the plugins are installed so it will take you to that another screen there we are going to create that uh, first uh, admin user right let's see okay so the last plugin is there email extension we'll wait Uh, here it is displaying that uh, create first user, create first admin user. So I'm going to give that uh, username as Mithun Technologies. Password, what are the password you like? You can give and uh, full name Mithun Technologies. Email. So just you can give that uh, what are the email you want to you click on save and continue. Then click on save and finish. Start Jenkins. So like this, you can install that uh, latest version. So we have installed it. See Jenkins 2.361.1. This is the version which we have installed. This is the latest version. Clear. So anybody have any questions, guys? So if you see here, we have on Facebook. Go through this Facebook. And uh, if you see here, YouTube channel also, please subscribe this YouTube channel so that you will get that uh, more videos and also click on this bell icon. Okay. And uh, if you see, this is very important uh, blog also. Right. So let me take you to that YouTube channel. You see here, many videos are there. And each uh, topic we have created a one playlist. Just click on this uh, playlist and if you go through that uh, playlist and uh, go through these videos one by one. These videos are very useful and uh, don't forget to click on this uh, bell icon. So once you click on bell icon, so if I <coughs> add any new videos, immediately we are going to get that uh, notification. So still, if you have any questions, reach out to me by using this uh, you are uh, this email ID or uh, by using any of these uh, phone numbers. Thank you.